Hey guys, happy Sunday. I wanted to share something that um, the Lord has told me early this year during um, 21 Days of Prayer in January. And um, it's kind of a touchy subject, which is why I haven't talked about it yet. But Um, I don't want to keep it to myself. I want to share it. So, um, he wants us to understand. Um, not sure why this year, but he just wants to under he wants us to understand when we lose loved ones that are close to us. Um, he's not taking them from us. It's not because. He doesn't want them to, I know like a lot of us have a hard time understanding as Christians, you know, why couldn't our prayers be answered, you know, um, why couldn't God heal our loved one and bring them home? Why couldn't God, um, you know, heal the sick just like his Bible says, you know, because we believe that he is a God who heals. We believe in healing miracles. We believe in healing testimonies. You know, that we we believe what the word says. We've seen God heal people before. You know, we've seen um, healing miracles before. We've seen people be delivered in the church before. We've seen miracles happen before our very eyes. And even people who've never seen a healing miracle, you know, when we go through those tests and trials where we are battling the, or um, almost like um, we're, we're, we're we're face on with someone who is sick in our family, someone who needs healing. And, you know, maybe those seasons in our life where we choose to draw close to God, we choose to become prayerful. We choose to call out to God because we are so desperate. We don't want to lose that person whom we love. We, we're not ready to let them go. So we, we, we begin to pray more fervently to the Lord and, and we may find ourselves as the first time we were truly believing God to step in and make a way. We're truly believing God to step in with a miracle. I know what that feels like. I know what that feels like. I'm sorry. I know what it feels like for you to want to want God to heal, heal someone and bring them home. I know what it feels like when you get mad at God because he didn't heal them and bring them home. I know what that pain feels like. I know what those emotions feel like you are not alone <laughs> but he wants us to understand that he's not taking our loved ones from us he's calling them back home so we just have to have that understanding you know in this life it's really important to forgive people and love on them because you just never know when God's gonna call them back home and you just have to accept that when he calls them back home, you can't call them and, and make up. You can't call them and, you know, ask for forgiveness. You can't call them and say, hey, let's go talk about it. You know, so that's why it's so important to, whew, to forgive now while you can, you know. I lost my father in 2017 and... It's just, just now hitting me years later that, you know, we ended on good terms. I love my dad. But it's just now hitting me that I cannot call him and talk to him. And I can't go home and visit him. Like I can, you know, everyone else. I don't know if it was because I was in shock all that time. <laughs> but 
will not see people who are just so grateful to have a dad. It warms my heart. And when I see people who really love their parents, it warms my heart because I wish I could hug my dad again. But I can't. So if you have a wrong with someone, you should just forgive them because you don't want them to, you know, go home and and you can't call them and you can't ask, you know, let's talk about it. You know, you can't have, you can't have peace in your relationship. I, I believe with Jesus is possible. I believe that people, that people can be healed. I believe that people can be forgiven it doesn't matter how messed up they are I believe that prayer heals I believe that prayer changes people and if it's just you know some people you didn't try and they may not be receptive to hearing you I just pray that you forgive them in your heart so that you can be free I understand some people can't you know you can't talk to them but you know sometimes it just doesn't hurt to try because I've, I've I've seen God you know make me and my father's relationship better because it wasn't always great but like his last five years were great so um, I just wanted to share that message because I know I've seen people on people I know personally I know they grieve they're grieving they're grieving because they don't understand why God didn't heal I didn't under heal the person they loved and bring them home I I didn't understand why my dad couldn't come home with a testimony that God healed him. But in life, we're just passing through on the earth. We're just passing through, you know. This is not forever. This is not eternity. But living with God is eternal life. You can have eternal peace with God. The heaven and hell is real. I know some people don't believe in it. There are stories in the Bible that talks about how hot hell is. And how thirsty, how thirsty people in hell are because there's no water. And I just want you to know that you can choose to have eternal peace today with Jesus Christ. Who hung up on the Christ for your sins and for your salvation. God sent his one and only son to hang up on the cross for us. To wash us and cleanse us by his precious blood because he was the ultimate sacrifice. He was the ultimate sacrifice the ultimate sacrifice i know it may be hard to understand that that story but if you spend time with god and get in his presence he will give you the understanding by his spirit everything that you've done that was wrong god can forgive you today if you will accept jesus into your heart right now i pray that he will soften your heart soften your heart with understanding give you wisdom to understand to just stop overthinking it and stop overanalyzing, but just believe that Jesus came and he hung up on the cross for you and I and that he forgives you of all of your sins, every wrong that you've done. He forgives you everything that you've done to everybody that was bad. He forgives you. He forgives you. And he loves you and he accepts you for who you are. There's no sin that cannot be forgiven by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You can repent right now and ask him to forgive you when he will. If you accept him as Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Jesus said that the only way to God, the Father, is through me. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the way. He is an open door to heaven's gates. And I just pray that you will just believe that and receive that in your heart. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe that the precious blood will cleanse and heal everybody from every sin. God has no favorites. He loves us all. He just wants you to accept Jesus in your heart because he sent his one and only son. God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son to hang up on the cross and die for our sins and for our salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. There's no sin that's greater than the blood of Jesus Christ. There's no sin that's greater than the precious blood of the lamb. Every sin is overcome by the blood of of the lamb hallelujah and i just pray that you just open your heart to receive jesus open your heart to receive jesus as he works on you as he heals you 
as he encourages you to forgive others that you may be forgiven when you forgive you cancel your debt when you forgive others jesus automatically god automatically forgives you when you choose to forgive others when you choose to forgive others that's when you your sins are forgiven no sin is greater than the blood of the lamb thank you jesus so um i just hope that you stay encouraged and i i just hope you don't have the mindset that god is taking anybody from you but he's just calling them home he's calling them back home because that is our eternal house that is our eternal home with the lord having eternal peace living eternally with his grace with his spirit in worship and praise in paradise where there's no pain there's no theft there's no harm there's no abuse there's no unforgiveness there's nothing but eternal love and eternal grace and eternal forgiveness and i pray that you give your heart to him so that you can receive that eternally in jesus name you can have peace today from this point moving forward. You can have peace with God. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is peace, there is liberty, there is freedom. And God just wants you to rest in him. He wants you to come to him. His word says, come to me, those who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. God wants to give you rest starting today. He wants to give you rest from the heartache. He wants to give you rest from the pain. He wants to give you rest from the sickness, rest from cancer, rest from the tumor. He wants to give you rest from your stressful job. He wants to give you rest from lack, rest from financial stressors. He wants to give you rest. And I pray that you will just come into his open arms because his arms are open and he's waiting. He's waiting for you to receive him because he wants to love and hug you so badly if you would just accept Jesus Christ as your savior. God is a God who heals. He is a Lord of Lords and King of Kings. He delivers, he provides, he nourishes, he strengthens. And he loves you so very much. He loves you so very much. There's no mountain standing before you between you and God. You just have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And he's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. Just like the prodigal son. He was doing his own way, doing his own things, had his own way of thinking. But God was always waiting for him to come to his senses, to turn back and come back to him. He's your eternal father. He loves you so much. He never stopped loving you. Even if your your fleshly father was not there, God was always there. He was always there. He was always waiting for you to call out to him. He's always been there. He's always loved you. He's never forsaken nor abandoned you. His word says that he will never forsaken nor abandon you. He was always there always there providing for your needs always there covering you and sheltering you he sheltered you from things you couldn't even see in the spirit it's nothing but by his grace that you are still standing today hallelujah god loves you and he cherishes you he loves you so very much he never turned his back on you he's always loved you as his daughter always loved you as his son he loves you so very much if you would just accept jesus christ into your heart Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. He's ready to heal you today in this very moment. He is a God that heals and a God that delivers. He brings light in dark places. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. And the Word was with God. God said, let there be light, and there was light. He said, let there be separation from water and water. Let the seas be gathered unto one place and let dry ground appear. God spoke everything into existence. He spoke life into existence. He spoke dry ground for you to stand on into existence so that you may not drown, but that you can run and soar and fly on eagle's wings. God is with you. He will never forsaken nor abandon you. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray, Lord God, and we give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Amen. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. In Jesus' name, amen.